guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Cooking with Albi. So today we're gonna do another great video. So as you can see, I have a butternut squash here. So as you read the title, we're gonna do a butternut squash uh, soup today. So let's check a little bit at the ingredients before we start. So what do we have? So we have a butternut squash. We have some butter, we have a carrot, an onion, uh, some leek, that's some sage. Here I have some um, nutmeg. Here I have some brioche, you know, so that's this sweet bread, uh, you know, made with milk, sugar and eggs, you know, that I have. So this I'm gonna use it for my garnish. I'm gonna make some croutons, so some little toast. Uh, toasted bread uh, to go on my soup at the end and also I'm gonna use some uh, cream cream that I have in the fridge right now but I'm gonna use also some cream uh, to finish my dish uh, at the end so let's uh, start with the um, banana squash so what we're gonna do first because as you can see we have a skin on it so what we're gonna do we're gonna peel it so you're just gonna slice here okay it's just make, I'm make your your job easier, okay, yeah, tack. So we're gonna peel the, um, the squash. So you can use either a knife or a peeler, it's up to you. So what I'm about to do is to just cut it in two, just like this. Okay, all right. And so now, as you can see, so the butter and squash, like all my seeds, you know, they're located here on the bottom. Okay, so all of this, I'm gonna use it for my soup, and all of this, I'm gonna remove, but I'm not gonna remove it completely. Why? Because you see all those seeds here that I have? Okay, I'm gonna keep them. Why? Because I'm gonna roast them and uh, put them on top of my, um, of my pumpkin soup as a garnish. So what I'm trying to do is to uh, separate the, those seeds, you know, from the flesh. Anyway, I'm not gonna use all of them because you know they have a lot of seeds that you can, as you can see and I'm not gonna need them all so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get about 20 something like that okay and once I have those I'm just gonna trash the the ones that, that are left you see especially the ones that are already in the flesh you know it's a little too hard to remove them so it's okay So as you can see, I remove everything. Huh? Oh, this I'm gonna get those oh, for my garnish. But those you can keep them all if you want and uh, roast them like we are about to do. So what I'm going to do first before I slice this uh, butternut squash, I'm gonna take care of those seeds. Why? Because I have to roast them. It's gonna take a little while in the oven. So here are our seeds. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna wash them with some water because you see, I see some flesh here. You see that's still stuck to it. And I need to clean it up, otherwise it's gonna burn a little bit in the oven while we roast them. So you see, you just put them in some water. Okay. And you just gotta remove the flesh like that. So now as you can see, my um, my seeds, you know, they are, they are floating, so I'm just gonna Take it like this. Okay, so now that my seeds are washed, I'm just gonna put them on some paper just to uh, dry them out a little because we want them dry and crunchy. So if there is a water on it, obviously it's gonna take way longer to uh, be done. Okay, so now I'm gonna put them in my plate so as you can see they're really clean so you can also buy them already made uh, it's just today we're going to do it all together so i put a pinch of salt you see yeah i'm gonna add a little bit of oil so that's vegetable oil okay Just making sure the oil and the salt goes everywhere and then you lay them flat that's important you don't want them on top of each other so now we're going to put this in the oven at 300 degrees 
for about 30 minutes, okay? All right, so now let's go back to our butternut squash. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cut these baby big cubes. There you go, so now we have our butter squash ready. Now I'm gonna take out my carrots, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna peel it. Just gonna go into just like this. So we have my carrot now. I'll use my onion. So I'm just going to use half of my onion today because we want some uh, some flavor from the onion but we don't want to overpower our soup. So I'm just going to put half of it. Now, this is our leek. So it's the same. I'm not going to use this whole full leek. Would be too much flavor. For my soups, I'm just gonna add a little piece. Okay, there you go. So I'm only using the white part, by the way. So when you cut it, cut it in two, and then wash it off just in case, because not really in the white part, but especially in this part, which is the green part, you always have some, uh, you see, some dirt that's left, and you don't want this. I'm going to cut my leek. Alright guys, so now we still have our pumpkin seed in the oven, drying off, getting crunchy. And now we have all our vegetables cut here. So we have our butternut squash, leek, onion and carrots. So now it's time to start cooking our soup. So let's go to the stove and let's get to it. Hi guys, so now it's time to cook our soup. So I'm gonna put some butter here in my pot. So we add medium heat here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my onions, my carrots. I'm gonna let it cook for about two minutes. And then I'm gonna add my squash and my leek. So now we're adding our butternut squash. So this, this operation guys, it's, it's, it's really important because when you actually roasting kind of your uh, pumpkin and all your vegetables like this in a pan with the butter, you know, it develops some flavors that you won't have if you don't do it, okay? If you just put some water just right now, you won't have the same flavor than if you just like roast them in this pan for about five minutes, give them some coloration. That's important. So now, this is gonna roast gently. It's time to add my seasoning. So I'm gonna add some salt. Some pepper. Now also guys, I'm gonna add some nutmeg, about two pinches to this preparation, because it gives a, a interesting extra nutty flavor to this soup, and uh, believe me, that's that's a great touch. So I recommend for everybody to, to add those two pinches of nutmeg. And also I'm gonna add some sage, this is some sage. So this is gonna add an extra flavor also to my soup, my sage, so now, Pretty much all my ingredients are here, but I'm gonna keep roasting those, those veggies for about two more minutes because I wanna develop the flavor right there. All right guys, so it's been about five minutes now that our vegetables are cooking with my butter. So now you can see they have a little bit of coloration, but you don't want 
video coloration because you want this pumpkin soup to stay really orange so now it's time to remove our sage why because for the same reason we don't put too much onion we don't want this sage to overpower our soup so we just gave some flavor now it's time to get out of this soup so now what are we gonna do we're gonna add some water okay the pumpkin in general and the banana squash you know it's really like uh, watery i mean uh, when you when you cook it and mix it it's like really watery so that's why i didn't add too much uh, water to it because we don't need too much liquid to blend this soup later and uh, i'm also gonna add a little bit of cream later so that's the reason why i didn't put too much water i'm just gonna add a lid on top of my soup and let it cook for about 20 25 minutes and then i will blend it so now let's check a little bit on our pumpkin seed. So as you can see, they are not ready, they are cooking, they are drying off, but they are not ready yet. They are just a little bit golden, but not golden brown yet. Okay, so now our soup is cooking, the seeds are cooking in the oven as well. So now it's time to take care of our croutons. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use those slices of bread. I'm just gonna remove you know this uh, brown part so it doesn't look that good okay all right and now what i'm going to do i'm going to make some uh, cubes to go on top of my soup okay guys so now that i have my croutons here I'm just going to put them in a plate that goes in the oven. Okay. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Okay. So I, I could have cooked those uh, croutons, you know, with some oil, some butter, you know, something like that. But because I already have put some butter in my soup, I'm going to put some cream. I don't want this, you know, to be like too rich, like to have too, you know, too much fat to this dish. So this, I'm just going to cook them like this, dry in the in my oven with my seeds. And uh, that way I'm not going to have too much, you know, taste of butter, cream and all of this in my soup. By the way, I'm going to cook it for about five minutes in the oven. Five to seven minutes at the same temperature that I already have my oven on, which is 300. All right, so now, next for our garnish so this is some uh, heavy cream so what i'm going to do i'm just gonna whip some of this cream to use it for my garnish at the end of my plating so you can obviously do it with those kind of machine you see that's really easy it takes like 30 seconds to do but for the people who don't have this machine at home i'm going to show you that just with a bowl and a whisk you can also do that all right so you guys are about to witness how you can whip some cream just with a whisk and a bowl so you just have to incorporate some air that's it so as you can see it's getting already a little thicker And obviously your cream has to be really cold, guys. Otherwise it don't work. All right, so as you can see, guys, I'm here now. See, this cream is wet. So now I'm just gonna add a touch of salt because we're not making dessert today. We're making a soup. So now my cream is nicely wet. I'm just putting this little container and I'm going to put it back in my fridge. Oh, huh? you see guys, perfect timing. It seems like our pumpkin seam should be ready. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. You know that our seeds are cooking in the oven. So now they are cooked. As you can see, I got the brown. So what I'm gonna do is just I'll put them in some paper because you see I had some oil and I don't want this extra oil here. Yeah. So you see? Looks good, huh? You see? You can, you can hear it. This is going to be crunchy. 
So let's have a look at our, our croutons now. They are ready. You see, they're just golden. Exactly the way we want. As you can see, they're not, you know, covered with fat or whatever. They're crunchy. What else do you want? Now our soup is cooking for um, 25 minutes. So as you can see, you know, it's almost cooked. Like the, the butter and squash is breaking apart already. I don't have that much liquid. Okay, so we're almost there. So now I'm gonna add some cream. So I'm waiting the end to add the cream. And now I'm, I'm gonna cook this for just like five more minutes. And then we're gonna blend it. All right guys, so now this soup is cooked, so it's time to blend it. So I'm using a hand mixer, but you can use also a, a blender, you know, uh, there's no problem. All right, so you can see it's almost ready, but I'm, you know, you need to keep blending to make sure that everything is uh, smooth. You know, so I'm gonna just keep blending for one more minute and then we'll be done. All right guys, so now our soup is mixed and smooth. So what we really need to do is to try to see if the seasoning is right. So watch out for the mouth, don't get burned. So definitely I'm missing some salt, it's really good. So I'm missing some salt. Now, mm. perfect. Okay, so the soup is ready. So now it's time for the favorite moment of everybody to play. So let's go, let's play. Okay, so all our green ingredients are here to finish our plate in front of us. So we have uh, everything we need, as you can see. We have our croutons, our pumpkin seed, have some herbs. I have uh, my soup here. So, as you already know. We are on Cooking with Alvi channel, so we're gonna do two different plating because that's what we do here. Everybody likes that, no? So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our soup first. Hi guys, so now time to finish our dish. So what we're gonna do today, two different plating. So remember my uh, whipped cream. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a nice canal just like that. We're in the center of my dish. There we go. Then. As you can see, start to melt. So these guys, you have to be really careful and fast on your plating because as we are talking, it's melting. Now we're gonna put our croutons here and there. Add some chili powder here. Just give it a little kick. There we go. So here we have our flux plating. So now we're gonna do our second plating. So I'm gonna use the same, the cream. But this time I'm gonna put some uh, dots like that. Now, as you can 
can see I'm just pushing the crane just to make it a coloration here and there And there you go guys, so we have our soup right now, right there, our beautiful pumpkin soup ready to be eaten. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, I hope that you guys like uh, some butternut squash soup or pumpkin soup because you can do this uh, same soup with pumpkin, uh, with butter or squash, it doesn't matter, I mean it's, uh, it's the same process. So please make this recipe at home. Make sure you share this recipe if you like it with your friends, like, you know, tell the world that they need to watch um, Cooking with Abby. Why? Because everybody can learn how to cook and make some healthy and tasty food at home. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing to this channel if you didn't do it yet. And see you soon on our channel. Thank you. Alright, so time to try now. Let's get a little bit of everything. Okay. Mm. Very good. Mm. Amazing. Also, guys, make sure you add this to the table because mm. it's always nice to have some extra croutons, extra pumpkin seed. That's what we like, right? Mm. Unbelievable how easy it is and how good it tastes. It's crazy, guys. You should make it. Make it now. <laughs>